welcome once again to a me brawler crew battle this one was brought to me at a little bit short notice we are fighting the olimars and by extension the alfs but no one cares about alf right i shouldn't say that people probably care about alf However, due to some last-minute disappearances, or at least one, this has gone from a 5v5 to a 4v4, which means we will be playing for 12 points instead of the usual 15. We had a we had an 18 point a 6v6 not too long ago. I don't remember which one that was. Hello, Big Brian. Oh. I should... take the chat off. I like to have the chat, but not for crew battles. That makes the footage look a little better. Hello, Cyber, and welcome. We are live on Twitch and YouTube, if it is preferable for anyone to watch on YouTube. So the Brawlers had a full roster. We had five players and at least one sub. This week has been exam week, so all of the all of the JMUs that are having crew battles, all the JMUs in general, have had trouble finding participants because everyone's busy with exams or school, so that. I know the Mii Sword Fighters are fighting the Rosalinas this week. And they've had some trouble getting participants for the crew battle. I think they just eked it out. They just managed to have one. Hello, Big Lord. What, you talking about my audience? They're in the bleachers. What's wrong? Hello, Mr. Pink. stream link, but YouTube makes it much more difficult than Twitch does. When are we starting? Uh, I assume we're starting as soon as the first players... Well, they're both in. We've got Free GC and Magicant. I, I think they are working out stages at the moment. It also sounds like we may, in fact, be doing 5v5. Alright. Well, that looks to be the case. So I will update my side, and Free and Magicant will sort out which stage they're going to be playing on. I have been busy this week, not with, uh, not with school. Well, I guess technically with school. I'm a bus driver, so I've been busy doing that all week, and it's been a very crazy week. They loaded my routes to the brim to the point that I was getting nine hours a day. I was driving five straight hours without a break in the morning, and then four straight hours in the afternoon. And that was the threat of having to pay me overtime was enough to finally convince them, hey, we need to take some kids off this route. So they did that, and it's looking better next week. But I certainly haven't had time to play Smash. So I am out of this one. 
I'm just gonna sit here in the stands and watch with my jelly friends. There are kids that still take the bus, still... like... their parents don't drive them to school, or is that a pandemic thing? Because the schools were shut down for quite a while and are slowly reopening. We were doing two days a week for a few months, and just recently, this past week or two, they've gone back to five days a week. I will make no comment on whether it's smart or not to do so. I just I just drive what they pay me to drive. I did because if I don't, I lose my job. first match of a crew battle is always a little more complicated because of the uh, picks and vans. There's not a previous winner to make it easy. It sounds like they will be starting on Battlefield. And here we go. Oh. Hello, BMZ. Free, rocking Dan. Magicant, rocking Alf. And I haven't checked our brawler lineup set, so I don't actually know what everyone's doing. Looks like Free has a shot put equipped. Paint jump, obviously. I assume suplex. I assume plex. And I think free likes thrust uppercut, if I remember correctly. Yep. I do friendlies with free now and again. He's a comparatively very patient player. He's keeping his distance. Looking for openings. Age running one three one two. That's soaring axe kick, right? Ooh. What was that? I didn't even see what happened. Did he have a pigment up on the ledge? Mm, he missed the thrupper. Magicant making abundant use of the high recovery. That seems like a bad idea against Thrupper. But I don't know Olimar's recovery that well. I guess, oh, he can cancel out of it. And F throw for the kill. We are down one each. for that suplex. He wants that easy He began the stock at a disadvantage in percentage. He is catching up, and he f no Thrupper still doesn't quite finish it. Both these characters have tools to cover their return to stage between shot put and the Pikmin. Ooh, okay, another stock off free. Magicant is at a decent percentage, though. If he gets another Thrupper, that's probably it. Things looking bad for free, but anything is possible. Mm, the 
Thrupper was too low. It was ground level. Under stage, even. D-throw Thrupper. Way too high a percentage for that to combo. That, uh, that up B on Olimar is very versatile. Okay, Free gets two. 90 to zero. Can Free pull a hat trick? Magicant is jostling. He's giving him the juggle. It's a grab off. Free shielding an awful lot. Ooh, the up air. Magicant takes the match. Free got two stocks off. That could have gone a lot worse. So that is three off of the brawlers. and two off of the Alphs. Just watch, just watch everyone on Team Olimar use Alph. There's not gonna be a single Olimar here. Does no one find cause for concern that this little spaceman is beating people to death with living creatures? I guess that's no worse than what Banjo does. So, our next participants are Magicant and Phage, who is just in chat. Players are working out their picks and bans. Olimar, my single worst character in the game, by the way. I've always thought he should be someone I do great with, because supposedly people complain that he's just chucking stuff and running away, which I'm great at. I love chucking stuff and running away. That's why I play Peach, but it doesn't work when I do it with Olimar. I just get beat down. He's just too strange, too much micromanaging. I know what all the Pikmin do, but they've got so many little minute properties that I don't care to learn. I remember he was considered amazing early on in Ultimate's life. I think opinions of him have kind of dwindled since then. Like, he's not bad, for sure. Was he nerfed over time, Olimar? He got hard nerfed. Do YouTube viewers exist here? They do now. I guess it's less relevant. You can't see the... Uh, normally, I would have a uh, restream chat on the screen. You can see the chat from both uh, Twitch and YouTube. 
I turned the I turned the chat display off for crew battles. So that the you know what? I can turn it on for the I can turn it on for these sections. There you go. Have have a nice piece of the screen, chat. I'll turn it back off when the match begins because I like to have good clean uh, match footage. I guess even then we have the uh, the scorecard overlay. All right, Phage versus Magicant Three, two, one, on small go! battlefield. What is that, me? Magicant will start by removing two of his stocks. Phage showing off his move set. Good guy, Phage. And then doesn't do the taunt to start. I think he missed that part, but that's okay. They are going. Magicant getting some up air strings. I've seen Magic Camp before. I think he or she hangs out in the brawler court occasionally. Error to shot put. Goes for the spike. He's fishing for it. He wants to do the sack cheese. Oh! Well, I, okay, you know what? That works. By technicality, Phage retains all three stocks. Oh, that's going to be popular with the Alphs. They're gonna love watching that clip. We are now back to even. What a, what a waste of a match that was. And it wasn't a waste, we got the point from it. It was almost a non-match though. All right, who is, uh, who is Phage going up against next? Oh, it's the it's the new grounds tank guy. Is that who it's supposed to be? Okay, but imagine new Metopia Mies in Smash. I know everyone's asking for it. Man, I have I have mixed feelings on them. In part because I literally just finished a rather long stream of the 3DS version just for this to get announced and make my entire playthrough obsolete. So on the one hand, it's cool that we have a really advanced me editor now, but on the other hand, man, come on, man, I just did that. Hello, Gagel. The match has started yet. We have gone through two matches. Magicant fought Free GC, won by one stock, and then Phage just uh, sacked him out of that one stock. And we are now down to 12 12. Boy, that, uh, that Olimar recovery is versatile with the uh, being able to cancel out of it. Still very vulnerable, though. Do man. Do man? Do the do man? Mando. Ink on YouTube. I forgot to put the chat back up. There, there's the chat. Okay, bye chat. Ready? 
Sounds like we are going town and city. Doman versus Phage. We have our first Olimar, not Alf. What is the tank that? I can't tell what hat that is. These special forces, maybe? Ooh, there's some, uh, there's some lag. That doesn't look fun. Age waiting out to see if it stabilizes, perhaps? Which character is the most uh, most intensive for the game to run? I would assume Ice Climbers, that being the reason that they were removed in Smash 4, was because the 3DS couldn't handle so many of them at once. But Olimar was fine, I guess. Dooman takes the first stock with an up throw kill. Age cannot land a hit. Mm, sack and neutral doesn't get punished. Dooman is up to two purple Pikmen. He just got a yellow one. Is he trying to uh, trying to build up to three purples? Mm, sack two doesn't connect. F smash doesn't connect. There's a suplex. Okay, there's a stock. Phage with an up smash takes a stock off of Doom Man. We are now at 100 to 130 to zero. Wow, that was a powerful throw. Is that the purple Pikmin throw? like a purple pickling. Mm. And Ariel finishes off another stock from Phage. Oh, the air dodge! Can he make it back? He can, because he's Olimar. We are at comparable percents. Do man with the stock uh, stock advantage. Very proficient with those Pikmin latch combos. Gets an extra leech in after a couple hits. Shot put gets punished. Another throw. Mm, and another up air? Not quite. He's not out yet. Oh, if only he had Thrupper. And the purple up air takes him out. That's three stocks off of Phage, one stock off of Dooman. Doman? The Pillsbury Doman. score is now 11 to 9 in favor of the Olimars. Looks like BMZ is our next brawler. And he's a mighty one.
Sounds like they will be going small battlefield. On the next episode of BMZ. I have to do it once. Age says, my goal was not to get three stocked, and I succeeded. Alright, BMZ versus Doman. Is that a JoJo, perhaps? I'm not sure who that me is. Hello, Darian. Doman getting the first hits. Ooh, a bad combo up to 82% on BMZ. BMZ has not landed a hit yet. Down throw. And that's all he got. Another grab into F throw. BMZ using dropper. I'm not sure what his neutral B is yet. I am assuming shot put. There's a manly sound in me, whoever he is. Up throw finishes the first stock. BMZ gets an F throw. Up smash doesn't finish him. Yeah, he's got shot put. Accidental B reverse shot put. This is rough. Doman is currently dominating the brawlers. He is the one to beat. Up smash takes a stock. BMZ is now at 65 versus Doman's 0% final stock. Lands a suplex for an easy 20%. <laughs> Shot put went nowhere. He just placed it like it was going on a shelf. Mmm, up smash hits shield. Gets punished. Still not dead yet. That's death. We are one to one. BMZ with the percentage advantage for now. Oh, thrust uppercut takes it! That is two stocks off of each side. The deadly dome man is eliminated. The throw strength increase when you have more Pikmin. Boy, it sure looks that way. Especially with the... Uh, I think purple Pikmin do more throw damage. I shouldn't be saying I thinks, because I don't know Olimar at all. Blue is throw. Now, is that knockback, damage, or both, though? Like, is there a Pikmin that does more throw damage but less knockback? They're kind of like Shulk Arts in that way. Here, I can get uh, chat back up there. Ugh, exited. Purple is just more damage on regular attacks. Oh, okay. BMZ has picked his bands. And it sounds like our next Olimar. 
is ASD DAST or Wi Fi Only Sucks. Good name. And well, that works out because Wi Fi Brawler sucks. They are going small battlefield. I, I don't know what to call this person. He has different names everywhere. What, what's the what's the what's the, it's the Discord name? It's just ASD Dast. Alfimar on stream is a role. Screw battle being hosted by Olimar Cord. So I am in there watching of the fascinating picks and bands. DMZ taking out his first couple stocks. The audience leave. I hope not. We're down a couple people. Hmm, another accidental, uh, facing the wrong way. Oh yeah, they left. Big Yoshi's gone. He said something about not finding Olimar hype, and thus he didn't want to stick around. I don't know, that's his words, not mine. Do the sus. Gajel, what are you on about? Mmm, attempts an up smash. Whiffs it, doesn't get punished. Both players about comparable in stocks. Can BMZ get one stock off? Up throw into Thrupper. A little optimistic, but it's fine. Boy, if that landed. Olimar's shield looking pretty bad. Can't shield that! 120 to 0. Let's get another one! I don't think we're gonna get another one. 150 to 0. Come on, BMZ! Oh! Oh, he gets, he gets super armor during the Pikmin call. Or he gets some kind of armor, he just tanked that up smash. That is one point off of both sides. Brawler's now down to six. We are on our final two brawlers. Olimar's at a score of eight. And imagine if Brawler had armor. That'd be nice. F Smash, maybe? Well, he does have armor. It's on ESK. It's a great move! Love ESK! I feel like that happened twice with BMZ. I saw the armor earlier in this stream. I don't know if it was to BMZ. But, a, a, but an Olimar and Alf armored something. I didn't quite catch what, what the armor was on. I, I see now it's his down special. What a useful little quirk that is. I wonder what the wonder what the first active frame on that is. Nintendo is too cowardly to give F Smash armor. What's that guy who's always asking for uh, insane me buffs? Nintendo's too cowardly to put those into effect. It wants Onslaught to kill at zero. Moves to hit the entire screen.
seems our next brawler is Mr. Pink. Hey, why do I gotta be Mr. Pink? I wanna be Mr. Black. There is Mr. Pink. Olimar is banning Smashville and Yoshi's. Probably uh, wise to ban Yoshi's against Brawler. Is yeah, on, on the whole, probably considered Brawler's best stage. Definitely his best stage with Thrupper. I'm not sure if it quite cinches it out with the other uh, other specials. Pink currently picking his stage. I'm gonna expose how uh, how stingy I am. The McDonald was giving out free sodas today, so I now have a large soda and a coffee and another coffee because they had a buy one get one half off coffee. So I'm just going to be full of liquids today. A little bit of confusion on the stage list. as is usually the case with our Brawler Crew battles. Our stages are Starters, Battlefield, Small Battlefield, Smashville, Stadium 2, Final Destination. Counter picks are Yoshi's, Kalos, and Town and & City. And Pink has chosen Town & City. Pink using 2-3-1-2, making him our first brawler not using shot put. I believe neutral 2 is FMP, the Aura Aura Punch. Wait, I play a lot of brawler, I still get confused with the numbers sometimes. Alright, Olimar versus Mr. Pink. Uh, okay. Again, typically, after the sacrifice, one would taunt to start, but... That's okay, they're at it. We have a few people who first crew battles for today. Again, it's been difficult to find people to play, given that this is... An exams week, and many people were unfortunately too busy for the JMUs. Ooh, that's it. First stock off Mr. Pink. 22% on Olimar. Attempts down throw into up air. Does not connect.
Hello, Crispo. Pink getting juggled heavily. Down another stock, 65 for Olimar. I believe Big Lord is the anchor. Ooh, a jab lock. Mr. Pink gets sent off stage, makes it back with faint jump. Gotta have faint jump. Can he get a stock off? Up smash does not kill. He has not pulled out FMP yet. Oh, there goes one. Mm. The aerial sends him flying. That is a three stock from Olimar. And we are down to... I believe Big Lord is our final brawler. He's got eight... Olimar stocks to go through. That is a very tall order. I believe our craziest brawler performance in recent memory was in the Wario crew battle. In which BMZ took seven stocks? Ultimately culminating in the Wario's anchor, their final player, also took seven stocks. We won by a single point. The Wario's very nearly took it back with that final player. Big Lord is joining the arena all the way from Portugal. This is going to this is going to be fun to watch two players who are awful on Wi-Fi playing between Portugal and wherever this Olimar is from. I may have gotten a little bit lazy with the uh, arena title. But that's okay, because you can't see it anyway. Neener, neener. Oh, that's interesting. An added condition for uh, Olimar and crew battles would be letting them get their starting Pikmin out. Because they start a fresh match with uh, red, blue, and yellow. That makes sense. Letting them take their stocks and then uh, start with their normal ones. ever feel useless, remember there's a lifeguard at the Olympics. That sounds like a cushy job. That sounds like a job that pays a lot for very little work. We need the, uh, oh, I wish I had it on hand. We need the, we need the clip of the Japanese guy in freezing water going clam digging telling us to never give up. That's what Big Lord needs right now. NEVER GIVE UP!
Big Lord, one of the few people who apparently got Olimar experience during the week. And not only do I am I terrible with him, I don't think I know anyone who plays him. He's a very complex and not often seen character, Olimar. Alright, Big Lord versus Olimar. I still don't know this Olimar's n preferred name, so I will continue just to call him Olimar. There's that Portugal. Alright, how's this gonna go? We got... It's just Big Lord in a space helmet. It's just him. There he is. Alright, Wi-Fi Olimar takes off his stocks. Gets his starting Pikmin, and they're good. Big Lord with an aerial suplex. That seemed like a misinput. Doing some short hop errors. Olimar standing back and throwing Pikmin. Very surprising move. Covers a low return with shot put into a faint jump kick. Olimar kind of hanging out by the ledge where he can throw Pikmin a little more safely. D throw into Thrupper, but he dodges the Thrupper and finish punishes it. Oh, that's a stock on Big Lord. That's not good. Boy, these particular Olimars today, they ain't nothing to mess with. Nameless Olimar in the Dome Man. I've had very strong performances. Suplex up to 90%. Hail Mary shot put, get shielded. He is above the scent, above the percent. Where he can really get any Thrupper confirms, I believe. He's now gonna have to try to... He's gonna have to try for a Hail Mary kill option. Ooh, back air lands! The biggest Lord gets the first stock. Zero to 60. Maybe he can adapt. Maybe he can get used. The, the helmet is in the way. It's making it hard for him to see. That's what's happening. Big Lord, notably loyal to Thrust Uppercut. Thrust Upper and Shot Put seems to be the popular set against Olimar. Lots of those faint jumps. Goes for the D smash, does not connect. A back air does. Big Lord being very proficient with those bears. Thrupper fails to kill. Shot put fails to kill. Come on, Big! He survives the up smash, dodges the up air. He's just gotta he's gotta survive. He's gotta get this one more stock. Maybe the other other Olimars will be a joke. Maybe they got their two worst players for the final two. Maybe there's still hope. Come on, big! Any hit from either could do it. Hail Mary up smash from Olimar does not connect. Bear does not connect. Nair does. Always trust Nair into a forward throw kill. Big Lord takes out Olimar with one stock loss. That's a net gain. That is one point off the Lord. And two points off the Olimars. He has two more Olimars to get through. He will need to... Oh no, that's not... Yeah, the Olimars, they got two stocks left. Sorry about that. 
He has two Olimars to go through, and he will need to basically three-stock two of them. Or he's going to have to come real close. He has one-stock leeway. He's going to need a three-stock and a two-stock. At least one three-stock. Big Lord bans Final Destination and Kalos. You know what? In celebration of the Big Lord, Big Yoshi returns. Cheering for you, Big Lord! In the crew battle chat, Shirtso says, I don't see a lot of brawlers attacking purples when there's opportunities, though obviously Big Lord didn't need it. I guess that is a strategy to attack the Pikmin directly instead of Olimar. So... Who is our next Olimar? I'm gonna admit, I'm a little bit mashy too. This is a mashy game, but I'm trying to get better about it. It won't stop me from playing Bowser, but I'm trying to get better, a little bit. Trying to learn combos, but I mean, I've, I've got an option between, I, I could grab and I could try for like a, like an up throw and some up airs, get some combos in for 20%. Or I could just suplex once and get 20%. It's kind of hard to want to learn combos when you have suplex available at all times. And pocket sword. Which I'm told shouldn't be used a lot in neutral. Soaring axe kick. But it's so polarizing against some characters. Little Mac, Ganondorf, just can't do anything about it. Big bodies. Me Brawler is so much fun. He is fun. I often, when, uh, when people ask me in Bowser Chord for characters similar to Bowser, actually, I actually think Brawler is the closest in playstyle. Just because that... that unreactable command grab is such a central part of it. And it also works as a tomahawk. They're very mobile characters. Decent out of shield options. Funny F smashes. Yes, Bowser's is a little more. I don't want to say useful because Brawler's F smash has good use. It kills real good. You just have to kind of set up for it in some way. Ready? Bowser's is much more hail maryable. Oh, whoops! No, I want that up. All right, Big Lord versus. Zero Limit slash Cosmic in di on Discord. Alright, Big will have to take out his first stock as he is missing one. And here we go. Big Lord, two stocks versus Zero Limit, three stocks. Ooh, 
gets a grab into a D-throw to start with. Big Lord at a slight percentage disadvantage. Funny, I do I do friendlies with Big Lord on rare occasion, and he expresses a uh, very frequent dislike for playing the game online, especially Brawler, because of the delay. And yet he's in every crew battle. I, I guess he just likes crew battles. Mm. Well, that coverage on the return to stage is very useful. Big Lord lands an up smash, taking the first stock. At 100%, though. It's not a great percent. He needs at least one three stock to win this, and this doesn't look like it'll be that one. Up air with a red Pikmin is not strong enough to finish it. Mmm, dare with a red Pikmin. And that up air takes another stock. We are now one to zero. Big Lord Thrupper doesn't quite finish him off. Zero limit survives. Zero to a hundred percent. Big Lord with another attempted roll read with the D-Smash. Again, does not pan out. He tried that last match. Late in air. The, 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 the shmovement on that up, on that Olimar up special. I, I never knew. Up smash for another stock. Big Lord, 26% versus zeros. 22% after that su one suplex. God, I love suplex. Ooh! Reads into the F smash. Doesn't kill, but it still looked cool. Ooh, that was a lot of shield damage Big just took. So moving forward, playing pretty aggressively. Turns to stage with Suplex, the purple Pikmin aerial finishes it. We almost at least got to the last but the last Olimar, but sadly, that ends the crew battle with a victory for the Alf Olimars. What he lost two stocks. So our final score is four to zero in favor of the Olimars. Truly a loss for brawlers everywhere. Well, I guess that's our crew battle. Thank you guys for joining. It was nice having you to watch. I will probably be doing a stream on this channel later with Jack. Of I don't know, it could be a hat in time. We've been doing a Tony Hawk stream we've had planned. One of those. But that's it for me for now. And I'll see you next time.